Hey, so in the last video, we got these cubes to always render behind our level. But of course, when we're walking around, it looks pretty trippy. It's not quite the effect we're looking for for a space background. So in this video, we're going to get these cubes to follow us so they don't look like they're moving. And we're going to make them look like uh, pieces of space following us. Now something that might help speed up performance here is if you go in assets resources to the cube get rid of the collider that'll help make the game run smoother and what we're going to do is we're going to have that space objects thing follow our player so open up that space background script okay so for every new space object we make we're going to use transform look at that's going to make it look at something we're going to make it look at this the player so every cube will look at the player and if we press play okay so they're all looking at the player now we want it to follow the player so in we're going to make that update function which happens every single frame and it's going to move the Space object container, its position is going to be the same as the player, and save that. But what's happening here looks like we're at the bottom of the sphere now. That's a little funny. Well, the player is at y is 7, and what's happening is we're adding that player position to the position but then we're putting those cubes inside the space container. So it's kind of getting the player's height twice. It's getting where it started and then also again here. So now we're just going to remove this and save. Okay, so everything's looking at us. It's looking pretty good. So I have some space pictures drawn by uh, Kyler Kelly, and I'm going to use this one here, but you can just bring in any any picture you want where the black is transparent and everything else is white because we're going to tint these later on with color. I put that in assets textures. So if you open up space background, we're going to need to make a new class. We're going to call it object info. Okay, so for now this is just going to have a texture, but we're going to but we're going to use we're going to have, you know, color information, like do you want it to be random color, how random, how red, what size, but for now just texture. And space background is going to have a public array of these. Oh, an array. And also at the top here, you're going to have to do system.serializable and save that. Go into Unity. Click on space background. So object infos. For now we'll have it at one and we'll just put that space texture into it. So finally we're at the point where we want a plane instead of a cube. We could do game object 3D object plane, but you might notice there's a lot of polygons in there. And I'm actually not sure why Unity does that, but we could have a plane with just two polygons and this would save us a lot of trouble. Uh, it would performance, I mean. So go and open up Blender. And this is a free 3D modeling program. I'm going to press A and then A, delete, enter to get rid of this stuff. Shift, A, mesh, plane. And that's all there is to it. Whoops, I right clicked. I'm going to press escape. So the middle button, that's a plane. And it's got only two faces. It says up here, well, well one face, two um, tries. And if we press tab, we have to do press A, then press A, so it's all selected. Press U, Smart UV Project, OK. And now press Tab to get into object mode again, and we're just going to save it. That's all we need to do. So I created a folder called Meshes and put the quad in there, and when I bring it into the world, there's our quad. So first let's make this look right. In Textures, you can drag that thing onto it, but the transparency is not showing up quite right. So if I click and find the material it's using, 
this Galaxy 1 material, you're going to want to change it from standard to unlit transparent. And maybe, yeah, so that's good. That's what we wanted. Now there's going to be a problem later when we make this face us. It's going to be rotated like 90 degrees the wrong way or something crazy. So we're going to make an empty game object. We're going to call it space, whoops, space object. We're going to put that quad into it at position 0, 0, 0. And now we're going to be able to make this into a prefab. So in assets, resources, click and drag into resources and delete this. Now back into our code. So instead of cube, we're just going to write space object and save. And when we press play, it looks like we've made a big mistake. But, you know, if we press pause and zoom out, okay, there are actually some space objects there. But the problem is, is the way they're facing us is completely the wrong way. If I look, look at this from above, we don't see it at all. So we need to rotate it in some way. Um, so click on the prefab. So this is the thing that the program is going to rotate. This is the thing we're going to rotate to try to make it right. So instead of 270, let's try 0. And that was a really good guess. So now they're all facing us, but we lost that render order, right? It's still it's rendering on top of the level. Of course, you got to click this guy and change its layer to space background. Yes, for everything. Press play. Okay, it's rendering behind everything again. And in the next video, we'll randomly change the size and the picture.